Joe Rogan Podcast, check it out. The Joe Rogan Experience. Train by day, Joe Rogan Podcast by night, all day. All right, today I have a special guest on the show. She's a character from one of the most beloved books of all time, The Joy Luck Club. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome June. Hi, Joe. Thank you for having me. <laughs> okay, I'll, all right, I'm going back. It's an honor to have you on the show. Uh, it's an honor to have you on the show, June. Uh, now, one of our listeners who haven't read, now, to any of our listeners who haven't read Joy Luck Club, uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, I'm a Chinese American woman who grew up in San Francisco. My mother was part of a group of four Chinese American women who formed the Joy Luck Club to play Mong John, eat good food, and share a life story. After my mother's death, I was invited to join the club and learn about my mother's past and our cultural heritage. Wow, that's really fascinating. So, what's it like growing up as a Chinese American in San Francisco? <laughs> so, it was a bit confusing at times. I never quite felt like I was fitting with the other kids at school. Mm-hmm. But lots of them feel completely Chinese either. My mother wanted me to embrace my Chinese heritage, yeah. but I was more interested in fitting the, in with my American peers. Right. It wasn't until later on in life, after my mother's death and joining the Joy Luck Club, that I realized the importance of embracing both cultures. Wow. Uh, that's... Uh, um, I can only imagine what that must have been like. Um, like I, I, now that I've heard about your mother, I, I, I've had some. Like, I also heard that your mother had some weird, super, uh, like pretty interesting superstitions and beliefs. Uh, can you tell us more about that? Yes, my mother believed in many superstitions and would often consult the Chinese zodiac or Feng Shu when making important decisions. She also believed that certain things, like the number four, were unlucky. It was a bit strange to me all, all at the time, but looking back, I can see the importance of the beliefs in her life. Yeah, that's really interesting. Now, I wanted to talk uh, to you about your inter- about your experience in the Joy Luck Club. What was it like learning about your mother, uh, mother's past, your cultural heritage? I open it and emotional. I mean, my mother never talked about about her past to me that mm. much, so it was a revelation to learn about experiences growing up in up in China. It was eye opening and emotional. My mother never talked to me much about her past, so it was a revelation to learn about her experiences and growing up in China and coming to America. I also learned about the other women in the Joy Lock Club and their experiences as immigrants. It helped me to understand my mother and culture in a way I never had before. That's amazing. Now I know I know that the book deals with <laughs> That's amazing. Now I know the book deals with some heavy pretty heavy topics. Uh like the challenges of being an immigrant in the other uh in the mother daughter relationship. What was it like exploring those themes? Difficult at times, but also <laughs> it was it, it was difficult at times, but also mm-hmm. cathartic. The book explores some very complex relationships and emotions, but I think it's important to talk about these things and to understand the experience of others. I'll, it, it's also a reminder that we're all more alike than we are different, and we all have our own struggles and challenges to overcome. Is this being recorded, by the way? <laughs> Absolutely. Now, I want to take... T- uh, I, want, now I want to ask you about something a little bit different. I know that you're a classical pianist. How did you get into music? Music has always been a big part of my life. And my mother was a very talented musician, and she encouraged me to play the piano. Mm-hmm. From, from a very, very, very young age, I fell in love with classical music and pursued it as a career. You know, like, the music, when it hits your ears, it really just makes all your fear turn into deer. But that shit makes no sense. Yeah, that's pretty interesting, June. I might, I might need to cut, cut the podcast here. 
I made this. Thanks, uh, Theo Vaughn. Uh, how'd you get here? I made this. That's cool, man. I I'd like to know how you got in the building. Alright, June. I'm sorry for the interruption here. Um, Lighter fluid. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Do you still play piano today? I do. It's still a big part of my life, and I perform regularly. It's a great outlet for me to express myself and connect with others through music. You know, it's just something that really attaches to people's brains and really focuses them all together to one group. That's amazing. Now, I have to ask you about something that I know is on the minds of many of our listeners. The book and subsequent movie adaptations of the Joy Luck Club have been hailed as groundbreaking for the potential of Asian American experiences. How do you feel about the impact of the book and the movie? Try to be proud of the impact the Joy Luck Club has had. It's one of the first mainstream works of fiction to explore the experiences of an Asian American woman. And I think it opened up a lot of conversations about identity, culture, and family. I'm grateful to have been a part of it and to have had the opportunity to share my story. Yeah, well, yeah, you know what? You should be proud, man. Uh, it's an amazing l book and an amazing story. Now, before we wrap things up, I have to ask you about something that I was always, you know, I, know, um, I always ask my guests. What's your take on aliens? Do you think they're real? <laughs> D don't mind him, he's okay. I, I, I'm not sure, but I think it's possible that there could be a life out there somewhere, but I haven't seen any evidence yet. Fair enough. Well, June, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, having you on the show today. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. Well, thank you, Joe. It's been an honor as well. All right, I'm going to end the podcast here, guys. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow night. So, Theo, so Theo Vaughn, uh, how have you been uh, holding up today, uh, even though she disappeared? God, Martians. Is that, ra is, perfect. is that racist?